policy keys to the central region, a Cape Coast High Court has slapped the Ghana Police Service with a 320,000 fine for the negligence of its officers over the shooting of three persons in a taxi cab. The officers who were pursuing goat thieves from Tufu Brasso fired into the thieves' car. A stray bullet hit a moving taxi occupied by a couple and their daughter in the process. Richard Kojo Nyako has more in the following report. According to the plaintiffs, on the 10th of January 2019 at about 6.30 a.m., they were on board a taxi cab from Anchor Ford Junction in Cape Coast when they were shot at by personnel of the Ghana Police Service who said they were chasing robbers from Chufo Prasso. The bullets of the police trade and hit Mary Abwaji, who later died at the hospital. The two other victims, Cecilia Mensah and her father, sustained varying degrees of injuries as a result of the bullet they also received. The defendant, the Ghana Police Service, told the court it deployed five policemen from the various police stations in the central region for police patrol duty at Daman near Chifu Prasso. Whilst on their patrol duty, they had information that there was a BMW saloon car with four occupants suspected to be driving recklessly. A few minutes later, the said BMW car approached the patrol team. The team signaled the driver to stop. However, he ignored the signals and sped off nearly knocking down the policemen. The police team further indicated they noticed that the passenger on the front seat was holding an AK-47 rifle. Accordingly, they notified all the police barriers from Chifu Prasu to Cape Coast and proceeded to chase the said BMW car. On the outskirts of Jukwa Senior High School, the suspected robbers then began firing at the police patrol vehicle with AK-47 rifle leaving the police no choice than to return fire. After the arrest of the suspect, a search conducted in their car revealed six live goats, one live sheep, and five dead goats. Justice Kwesi Buache in his judgment indicated the judgment of the court was not meant to intimidate and lower the morale of the crime-fighting institutions in the country, such as the Ghana Police Service. He urged the Inspector General of Police to take proactive steps to sanitize the Ghana Police Service. He further noted that there was a dire need to undertake complete overhaul or re-engineer the service as far as its professional training needs and competence are concerned. He consequently awarded the first plaintiff the sum of 150,000 Ghana cities. For Cecilia Mensah, the third plaintiff, a student of Academy of Christ the King, the judge assessed compensation payable at 60,000 Ghana cities and ordered the defendant to, to pay same. He also further awarded a lump sum payment of 100,000 Ghana cities to the estate of the deceased because her family member Josephine Oche sued as a dependent of Mary Abwaje. The court assessed cost at 10,000 Ghana cities in favor of the plaintiffs and against the defendants. The plaintiffs were grateful to the court that at long last justice has been served. Oh, Reporting for Joy News, Richard Kwejo Cape Coast.